Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at how you can implement your own steering behaviors. Now, in Apex Path, we ship with uh, two steering behaviors. Um, we have the steer for path, um, obviously, <laughs> since it's a pathfinder. And then we also have the steer uh, for basic avoidance that we included in 1.1. Um, but other than that, uh, there are no steering behaviors. And in order to have um, proper movement of units, you would want to have additional steering behaviors. So how do you implement these? Well, uh, I'll show you that now. And what we will do, we will try to implement a steering behavior that will allow us to follow another unit. So going to the code editor, I've created a class called steer to follow And all steering components that you add, you simply um, derive those from steering component, which has one method called get movement vector that you need to implement. This is where you return the movement input that you want to apply to the unit with this um, steering behavior. All the different steering behaviors will then be combined into a final movement vector which will move the unit. So in this case uh, we want to follow another unit. So I'm just going to drag in uh, some pre-made stuff here. Um, as you can see we don't want to go into the details about the implementation. It's not really important. The important part is how to do it. Um, and this is basically how to do it. But just uh, to see uh, what do we need to follow somebody. Well, we need somebody to follow. Uh, we have the unit to follow here and then we have a separation that will ensure that we keep a certain distance to the unit that we follow. And then we have the get movement vector that implements this particular logic that will move our unit towards another unit and keep a certain distance. So if we save that, we can go back into Unity and see uh, that in action. So I'm going to select my green unit. And as you can see, I've already added uh, the quick start to this unit. So it is a navigating unit. Um, it already has the steer for path component. It's not really going to need that in this example. But now we're going to add a secondary um, steering behavior to it. So we're going to say steer to follow. And in this case, we wanted to follow our orange unit. So I'm just going to drag my orange unit over there. And let's say that we want a separation of three. That's it. So now if I start my scene, um, I will have my unit here. My orange unit, I can select this one, I cannot select. The green unit is just uh, it's not selectable. But when I start to move, my green unit will then start following behind. And it will stop uh, within a distance of three. So that's it. That's obviously very simple behavior. But you can implement um, all the standard steering behaviors uh, doing just like this and then attach them to the unit. And just to explain in a little more detail what actually happens is that when you have uh, a number of behaviors uh, attached to a unit, they will all, as I said, be combined. And the one that combines them uh, is this called the steerable unit component. This one combines all the different steering components and uh, the result will then be applied to the unit as the final steering vector. So um, just to wrap this up, let's look at the additional options that we have here. Um, so, oops, there are a few more methods that you can implement. Um, speed adjustment factor. If for some reason um, your steering behavior wants to adjust the speed of the unit, it may need to speed up for your particular behavior. Then you can adjust um, the um, speed here. Uh, and then you have uh, a few overrides of the standard Unity methods like uh, awake, on disable, on enable, and on start and enable, um, and start. So all of those are overridden uh, or can be overridden uh, if you wish um, to implement stuff there. Just Remember, of course, to call the base uh, 
implementation on all those methods that you overwrite. And finally, it has a stop method that will allow you to stop uh, this particular steering component. That's about it. Um, so as you can see, it's quite easy um, to implement your own steering behaviors. Uh, the difficult part, of course, is to implement the actual steering, what takes place in here. Um, but adding new steering components is easy.